Sign up, join up. There's prizes <laughs> for everyone. But anyway, uh, Lorraine, Lorraine is um, comic crazy. Hi, Happy Lorraine. Harbor Comics. I have to tell you, they've got a wicked sense of humor here. Look at this for a little lunch pail for children. My first, My cocktail. first cocktail. There's something okay. very wrong about no, that's that. That's not fun. <laughs> that's not good for kids. No. But it makes you laugh. Okay, Jay, we're going to spend a few minutes talking about movies that have been turned into comics and vice versa. Yeah. Let's start with something that started as a comic and then was made into a movie. For sure. The the obvious stuff is all the superhero movies that are coming out, and and this year we're going to see a lot of them over the summer from uh, Iron Man and Batman. Uh, a new Hellboy film, which did really, really well, the first film. Um, the Incredible Hulk is getting uh, kind of redone um, with Ed, Ed uh, Norton in the lead, and it kind of looks really, really excellent. And, uh, and a couple of original books that people might not be familiar with, uh, Wanted uh, is the story of a group of super villains as opposed to heroes. Oh. So and it stars Angelina Jolie and Morgan Freeman, and it's, uh, it's going to oh. be, it's probably going to do very, very well at the box office. No, what exciting. I'm really surprised at seeing is something like uh, Ghost Whisperer mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, Serenity, based on TV shows. Who knew that they'd been made into comics? It's a very popular turn right now. There's a couple of particular companies out there that will license uh, TV properties, convert them into comics. And it's not just television as well. I mean, Stephen King's books are also getting adapted into comic form and they're doing very well. But uh, far and away, actually, our top-selling comic book, period, over anything right now is Buffy the Vampire no. Slayer. For sure. Okay. Outselling Superman, Spider-Man, X-Men, oh. the whole nine yards. It's because uh, it's appealing to uh, an audience of people who loved the show. And when the show ended, the show ended after seven seasons, Joss Whedon, the creator, came out and said, this is season eight. He goes, so if you wanted to know how the story continued, buy the comic. And that brought in a whole new group of people who were fans of the show who didn't really know about the comics. So you would have to have a direct tie into George Lucas or whomever. You can't just start writing a spin-off comic. No, not at all. I mean, the people who are writing these comics, uh, like in this case, it is Joss Whedon. This is his property. He's at the helm writing it. He chooses the writers uh, who work with him on the comic for all the different arcs and stories and stuff like that. Uh, the same with the Serenity, which which is a spinoff from the fire, the short-lived Firefly TV show, but it has a huge, huge cult following, and there's a lot of people that love it, and it just drives more people in. It keeps them wanting more stories and brings them into the comic shops. But not surprisingly, there are websites, Andrea and Shay, where you and I could go on and we could write our own comics, and it would be okay to do a Star Wars spinoff because it's just in these very protected websites where you can have at it and, and uh, express yourself. I think that would be kind of interesting, too. When we come back, we're going to meet a local author who, for the first time, is going to see the pictures that have been drawn for a cartoon book that he's written based on history and it's supposed to be just incredible. We'll hear the tale, see the pictures in just a few minutes. Sounds All right, good, Lorraine. yeah. Thank you very much. Very interesting. For details on Happy Harbor Comics, call them at 452-8211 or visit their uh, location. 101st Avenue and 124th Street. Drop by. Yeah, and they're on the website too. You have to go to our website, which is globaltvedmonton.com. Click on it. And then click on links. In the news. Links in the news. That'll get you there. Time for 667 4777. The Travel Report is brought to you by AMA Travel. All right, it's nice seven um, destinations. 52. Beautiful, hey? The castle. Mm. Yeah. Could go for a castle right about now. Castle would be nice. Castle living, it's for me, yeah. <laughs> Time to head back over to Happy Harbor Comics. Yeah, Lorraine there today showing us how some comic books are taking on a stronger literary role. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is such a tale. Have you read The Da Vinci Code? Yes. yes. You'd be familiar with Knights Templar? Yes. yes. Okay, if you want to know the true history behind The Knights Templar, you might want to pick up Stephen Dafoe's book it's called? Nobly Born. And why did you write this? Well. For a number of reasons, but principally to tell the actual historical story of the Knights Templar. Uh, since Da Vinci Code has come out, there's been an incredible mythology about the Templars. And what this book does is it tells the actual story, which is every bit as fascinating as the myth about the Order. Okay, so you write a book, and then you decide you're going to write comic books based on the same historical facts. Mm -hmm. Which was more difficult? Well, the comic by far. When you're doing a non-fiction book like this, um, you're basing it on historical documents. When you're writing a comic book, you're taking a fictional account of the historical event. Much more difficult because you're working in two mediums. You're working in a written medium, but also you're having to anticipate what the visual representation is going to be. Not only that, Stephen, but you can't draw 
So you need to bring no, in an no, illustrator. It, it, it would be Stickman Knight Stempler for sure. Okay. So then that's where Bob comes in, who's a professional illustrator. So how do you work in tandem with a writer to come up with something that you can present as a comic book? Um, I pretty much just, this is my first time interpreting a script, mm -hmm. which is um, just on the end there. But uh, yeah, basically just... Um, I look at the script um, as I'm as I'm reading through the script. I'm making little um, little thumbnails in the borders, um, and then uh, I've also uh, and then I go to. Uh, so here's the script. Yep. Yeah. Here's your thumbnail. Yeah. And then uh, when I need a little bit more uh, detail, I I, um, I plot out um, you know the pacing on on a slightly bigger scale. Just get some figural movements going and stuff like this that. This was your reference. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We we uh, uh, Stephen provided me with just a ton of reference, uh, and uh, and uh, I got my my horses book because there's a lot of horses there, and horses aren't as easy to draw as people. And from here, you take it where? And then from from here, I just take it to uh, to the finished pencils. These are just the uh, basically um, the script uh, exactly how it is. But and then uh, you need to ink it, yeah. and then you need to shop it. What, do you, what did you think? This is the first time you've seen these drawings? You know what, Bob has done a fantastic job interpreting the script. Um, made some improvements in, in the visualization uh, okay. from, from what I had actually written. For example, this uh, what's called a splash page. Um, it'll, it'll cover two full pages. It's different than what I had written, and yet he's captured the essence and I think improved upon what, uh, what was in the script. Well, watch for this comic book series, and you'll know that it's based right here in Edmonton. Pure talent, writing and illustrating. Wow. When we come back, this isn't the first time this has been done. We're going to show you what I mean in just a few minutes. Okay, okay thanks. Okay, both that again. This isn't the first time this has been done? No. No. That's the only hint we get? Right. Okay, we're on location this morning, Hap. Be Harbor Comics, 101 124th Street. Their number, 452-8211, if you want to talk comics. It really leaves it wide open, doesn't it? There's a lot of things that we've never done before. This is true. 